The physical fitness session served as a culminating leg of the HOTS original training workshop and the non-communicable disease NCD framework monitoring meeting which were held in St. Lucia on May 16th to 17th and May 18th to 19th respectively. Representatives of over 17 countries converged in St. Lucia over the four days to dialogue on the current realities associated with non-communicable diseases and to map the way forward as governments in the region look to improving health care. The workshops were held in collaboration with PAHO and WHO. HEART is a program aimed at blood pressure control and cardiovascular risk reduction. Physical exercise is one of the recommended daily activities in combating hypertension, also referred to as high blood pressure, often a lifestyle-related medical condition. Dr. Amelia Del Riego, PAHO, WHO representative for Barbados and the Eastern Caribbean countries, applauded St. Lucia and other regional territories for their efforts at implementing the HOTS initiative. The Human Rights uh, offers this opportunity by strengthening the existing health systems, empowering providers with the most up-to-date evidence-based tools, and individuals to take a more active role in their own health, improving the literacy and really impacting the life of the person on the street. And I will say of the person in this room and everywhere. Minister for Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, Honorable Moses Jabatiste, who delivered the feature address at the opening of the workshop, spoke on strengthening primary care for advancing the management of non-communicable diseases. The minister added that as the region slowly recovers from the COVID-19 pandemic and embraces the lessons learned, it will do the region well to focus on primary health care, which forms the foundation of the entire health care system. Strengthening primary health care, he asserts, is making a positive dent in the prevention and the treatment of diseases within communities. From the experiences gained during the COVID-19 pandemic, we see the need for change and the need to come together as we use best practices to build stronger primary health care systems which respond to the challenges posed by NCDs and their risk factors. As mentioned previously, primary Care must be patient-centered. Patients must be at the core of what we do. As we move towards decreasing the burden of NCDs, we must ensure that no family is driven into poverty because of illness. Healthcare must be affordable, and the necessary partnerships through social insurance schemes must be fostered and strengthened so that everyone has equal opportunity to care and to get essential drugs and services. In St. Lucia, NCDs contribute to 82% of mortality annually, according to the Health Minister, through St. Lucia's implementation of the Performance-Based Financing Project, PPF, different health regions will have free access to medication and lab testing during the first level of care for people living with NCDs. During the workshop, several healthcare practitioners received training in the HEARTS modules and cardiovascular risk management CVRM facilitated by PAHO. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, Julita Peter reporting.